T related to mid M, not the WZ T3. SJ09 Polish driver training vehicle. The turret has been replaced by a flat plate cabin with dummy gun barrel. Polish Army uses T-72 based vehicles. Malaysian Army has one based on PT-91M. PZA Loris Farg prototype based on the T-72 chassis. Dot 4. Romania. TR-125 Romanian prototype tank based on T-72 with extra armor, new FCS, new gun modified suspension and more powerful diesel engine. A reverse engineered vehicle, it was larger in dimensions than the T-72. Its name stands for Tank Romanesque 125, Romanian Tank 125 with 125 indicating the gun caliber of 125 mm. Serbia Serbian modernized tank M84 AS Serbian upgraded T-72 featuring Greek Tivama Yugo import T-72 modernization package upgraded engine, communication gear and era. M84 as is a prototype tank using an M84 a tank modernized to T90 level by Yugo Import SDPR. M84 as one is a substantially modernized version of the M84 main battle tank. M84 AI armored recovery vehicle created from the chassis of a M84. A. Completed with the help of Polish experts resulting in a vehicle similar to the WZT3. Standard equipment includes a TD50 crane, front-mounted stabilizing dozer blade, main and secondary eye winches. Slovakia. Slovak T72M2 T72M1A T72M1 upgraded with suspension of the driver's seat from hull roof. DSM 16.1 engine monitoring system, era armor package around the turret with a flat front section, fire detection and suppression system improved transmission, improved hull floor protection laser detection warning system, modified electrical anise, PNK 72 driver's night sight, SGS 72 a commander's stabilized passive sight, Gunner's sight with a large head with two section door, S12U diesel engine Slovenian. EFCS 3-72 a fire control system and M smoke grenade discharges on the each side of the turret. It also has two external sensor rod mounts on turret roof. Dot, four. T72 M2 Slovak modernization. Development was completed but without any order for tank fleet modernization. VT-72C improved VT-72B produced since 1999 for India. It is fitted with a more powerful Polish S-12 UD engine and has a modified interior. Dot for VT-72 combat engineer tank. Similar to the VT-72 but with a modified telescopic arm with bucket. Mount 72 Slovakian scissors type bridge based on T-72 chassis. When deployed the bridge is 20M long and will span a gap of 18M. It is capable of carrying loads of up to 50 tons. Dot, for Shakh 2000 Zuzana, Zuzan, a 155mm. 45 calibers version, the first prototype of which was completed by ZTS in December 1992 of the Dana 152 mm self-propelled gun howitzer installed on a modified T-72 M1 chassis. Dot, for South Africa, T-72 Tiger the modernization package from LIW includes two large sights installed on the front of the turret. Dot, South Africa also offers a self-propelled artillery conversion for existing T-72S, rearming the chassis with a turret adopted from the G6 howitzer. 130. Syria. T-72 Adra Syrian upgrade featuring slat and spaced armor as extra protection against HEAT. T-72M1S Syrian Italian upgrade with the addition of the Galileo Avionica termed computerized FCS, including infrared cameras, 
improved gun stabilization, stabilized sights for the gunner and the commander, and capability to launch 9M119 Reflex ATGMs. 124 T 72 M1 S and T 72 AVS were upgraded to this standard between 1998 and 2000. Very few of upgraded T 72 AVS retained their explosive reactive armor after being upgraded. 131 Golan 1000, a rocket system which carries three massive 500 mm rounds each packed with 500 kilograms of high explosive fragmentation ammunition built on a t-72 tank chassis the rocket system has been in use with the syrian army since may 2018 132 ukraine t-72 amt of the ukrainian army dot during the invasion by russia from 2022 ukrainian forces used it captured russian tanks including t-72 s dot 133 t-72 and when an unveiled in 1992 the first ukrainian t-72 upgrade covered extensively with early generation contact one era tiles V-shaped array around the sides of turret and an array on side skirts. It is powered by the 6TD1 or 6TD2 diesel engine, 1,250 HP, from the T-84 and features additional smoke grenade launchers. Dot 491. T-72 AG Kharkiv Moro Zuf Machine Building Design Bureau. KMDB, modernization package aimed at improving the automotive and firepower capabilities of tank with components mostly derived from the T-80U program, including an improved 6TD1 engine rated at 1000 HP or 1200 HP, 881 kilowatts, 6TD2, new drivetrain components from the T-80U, an improved engine cooling system, turbocharger and air filter. These upgrades improve upon the T-72B tank's mobility and bring the upgraded vehicle up to par with the T-80U. Further improvements were made to the fire control system, which is now an adaptation of the 145 Ertish system, with 1G46 day sight, TKN4S, TPN4 or TPN4 Buren Catherine night sights. The latter equipped with thermal viewer, which also enables use of 9M119M in VAR laser guided missiles launched from the main gun. The tank turret was covered in contact 5 era tiles and the main gun was upgraded to the newer 2A46M1 variant, and coupled with a significantly more precise 2E42M main gun stabilization system. However, with most of the tank's components reliant upon the T-80 Ute, this variant has nutted any export success. 134, 135. T-72 MP This modernization package was unveiled in 1997 by KMDB and includes an improved 6TD1 engine, Contact 5 or Nijira a modern fire suppression system and an advanced Sage M715 MP fire control system with the multi-channel thermal 715 MP, gunner, and panoramic SFIM VS580, commander, sights. But the capabilities of the FCS were not fully utilized since the tank retained the obsolete 2E42-2 stabilization system on 2A46M main gun. The upgrade is offered jointly with Sage M of France and PSB Bohemia of the Czech Republic. 136. T 72 120 KMDB main armament package first offered in 1999 with the T 72 AG and T 72 MP upgrades, which includes an auto loaded KBM 2 120mm main gun developed with French-based Guyot Industries and capable of firing NATO standard ammunition or articles. 
This upgrade includes a new 2E42M stabilizer and a new autoloader system housed in the redesigned turret bustle and similar to that used in the Leclerc main battle tank with a capacity of 20 single fixed rounds and further 20 stored in the hull in place of the legacy AZ autoloading mechanism. The high costs involved with such an extensive modification have thus far driven away potential buyers. 137. T-72UA1 a relatively simple upgrade developed for smaller defense budgets of the nations of the developing world, but one that has seen commercial success. The original V-46 engine was replaced with a newer 5 a two-stroke diesel making 1,050 HP, 775 kilowatts, and fitted with an enhanced cooling system for use in tropical environments which allows tank to be operated for extended periods at temperatures exceeding 55 degrees Celsius. The tank weighs also equipped with an EA10-2 APU with an output of 10 kilowatts, allowing the vehicle systems to be fully powered when stationary without running the main engine, thus drastically adjusting fuel consumption. An air conditioner remains optional. Protection is enhanced with use of Nijira tiles on the turret while retaining the Contact 1 tiles on the hull, however Nij tiles are compatible with Contact 1 mounting points and can be retrofitted. The main gun, stabilizer and FCS remain unchanged compared to the T-72B. Ethiopia purchased the T-72UA1 with 72 tanks delivered in 2011 and 99 in 2012. The Ukrainian army became a customer in 2014 in response to an immediate need following the eruption of the war in Donbas. It is believed that less than 30 vehicles were ordered. T-72E upgraded version of the T-72B, E stands for export, showed at IDEX 2011 and developed together with the T-64E. The hull front and sides are protected by contact 1E other tiles, while the turret front, sides, sides frontal part, and top are homogeneously protected by Nij armor. The engine is upgraded, it is a 5 tfma one multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 1050 HP. The tank features also air conditioning, day and night sighting system with integrated laser range finder and ATGM capability. The weight is 42.7 T, giving the tank a power forward slash weight ratio of 24 6 HP forward slash T. BMT-72 Ukrainian T-72 Upgrade The unique compact design of the Ukrainian developed BMT-72 power pack, based on that of the T-84, made it possible not only to considerably increase the power capabilities of the vehicle, but also to introduce into the vehicle design a troop compartment. The troop compartment is located between the fighting compartment and the power pack compartment. In the troop compartment roof there is a set of three hatches in slightly raised portion of the hull roof behind turret that allow the troops to get in or dismount a vehicle. There are also steps on the end of each catwalk at rear of vehicle. The main visual difference between BMT-72 and T-72 is a seventh pair of road wheels. Dot, for 138. BTS-5B Ukrainian version of the Brim-1. T-72 AMT adapted to fire combat laser-guided missiles from its main gun, as well as several other survivability and lethality enhancements. Dot, 139. 140. T 72 EA The Czech Republic supplied the 2022 T 72 Avenger or T 72 EA to Ukraine during the Russian invasion that started in 2022. 125. Details of this variant are in the Czech Republic section. Other countries also supplied T 72 and variant tanks. Yugoslavia. M84 indigenous main battle tank based on the T-72M but with several upgrades. 
M84 improved version based on the T72M1, with new SUV M84 computerized fire control system, including the DNNS2 gunner's day forward slash night sight, with independent stabilization in two planes and integral laser range finder. Other upgrades include a stronger 1,000 HP engine. M84 AK command version of M84 are fitted with land navigation equipment. M84 AB export version of M84. About 150 were exported to Kuwait. M84 ABK command version of M84 AB fitted with land navigation equipment. M84 ABN navigation version of M84 AB fitted with extensive communication equipments, land navigation equipment, and a generator for the command role. Notes T72 total production no one. Archived. Yes, you not read this. So that was a long, long PDF. Five part videos. Is uh, 1020 and many, many, many 10 pages of notes. But normally, uh, they have stopped writing when the document was last edited. They used to do it in the bottom, but they have stopped doing that. Normally, they have uh, put a taste like last edits. I don't know why they have moved that. So, but I, but I have to be Joe and make, to make a video on Dennis about this, but maybe not today because I start to get tired. It's 10 30, and actually, I would like to look my stamps a little bit. If I should do that, I should do it uh, now. So if I should sit here, look my stamp collection a little bit more in English. So I think I think I will just stop the video and put put this camcorder in the charger. But we can go and get something to drink. We have two minutes left. So I think I'll do that because if I should start to make a Danish video now, it will be like 11 p.m. before I uh, do it. Then I can charge the camcorder. The battery is not uh, ready yet. So uh, let's do that. I'll stop the video now, then I will go look my stamp collection. Let's just we have one minute left, but I will stop the video and go to bathroom. Yes.